What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt and today is the last update of Fortnite Mares. So let's go over everything the update has to offer in under five minutes. But hey, before we get into that, are you making mistakes in Fortnite and you can't figure out why? Well, it sounds like you probably need a Fortnite Pro Coach to show you exactly where you're going wrong. Our world-class pro coaches can help you improve no matter your skill level, and they're available 24-7. So it doesn't matter what time zone you live in or when you want to train. All you need to do is click the link in the description right now. Okay, so as usual, let's take a look and see if there have been any changes to the map this update. The answer is, unfortunately, not all that much has changed. There are some minor changes across the map, but there's nothing on the scale of the convergence at the center of the map this update. The biggest changes have happened to the redacted bunker, which has now been revealed to be an IO facility that has an entire interior. The other change has occurred to the convergence at the center of the map, but it's not a very big change. All that's happened is a slight expansion of the cube terrain. Next, let's go over any gameplay changes. The big thing is that, unfortunately, mechs are definitely set to return this season. Originally discovered in the files by Gmetric Games was a reference to a new type of mech called the Salvaged Brute. Why has it been called a Salvaged Brute? Well, that's because this brute doesn't seem to be quite as powerful as its predecessor. The mech's dash has a 7 second cooldown instead of a 5 second cooldown. The stomp's damage has been reduced. The shields of the mech have been reduced from 150 to 100 and the respawn delay on those shields have been increased. Finally, the jump damage has also been nerfed. Just like their Season X predecessor, the Salvaged Brute will fall from the sky to spawn into the map. There's a chance, of course, that the mech won't return, but that's only if people don't end up funding it. And I mean, people are probably gonna fund it. Bud the Mushroom has also now been enabled. For those of you that don't remember, Bud the Mushroom was an item that only existed in Fortnite for a single day in October last year. He would follow players around, giving them shields if you gave him some wood. Who knows how long this feature will last this time around. Also found in the files is a new combat pistol weapon. We currently don't know anything about this weapon, but if it follows the trend of other combat class weapons in the game, it will likely shoot faster, have a tighter bloom pattern, and will have more recoil as a result. The final change to this patch to gameplay comes in the form of a new dynamic storm, but no one actually seems to know what this actually is yet. All we know is that this version of the storm will be restricted to public matches and will not be available in competitive playlists. Okay, Fortnite fam, let's get into the leaked cosmetics from this patch. First up, the skins. We've got a bunch of zombified superhero skins. There's the Haunted Hunter, Horror Sonic, Boo Last Off, Wonder Lost, The Bitey Vault, Doom Dancer, Their Backlash, Extinguish Firebrand, Putrid Polarity, and Jolterra. There's also Colonel Poppy, and at last, Shadow Midas. Now, data miners have also uncovered tags for a new tech line of skins and have managed to discover what those skins actually look like. The current codenames for these skins are Neon Cat Tech, Peely Tech, and Crazy 8 Tech. For the back blings, there's the Dead Pixel, Stained Mantle, Gordy, Slurp Slushum, Blood Moon Rising, and the El Dorado. For the harvesting tools, we've got the Antimatter Pulse and the Reality Render. There's one glider, and that's the Queen's Procession. And finally, two new wraps, the Splat 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 and the Galactic Carnival. Well, that's everything from today's update, the last update that will come as part of this year's Fortnite Mares event. So let us know what you thought of this year's Fortnite Mares in the comments, and I'll see you in the next update video. You know, if you subscribe, subscribing would be nice.